We'd like to introduce you to the new Fluke Biomedical VT650 and VT900 gas flow analyzers. These devices are accurate, reliable, and all-in-one, built for testing medical respiratory equipment, including all types of ventilators, anesthesia machines, CPAP machines, flow meters, and more. Compact and portable, the VT650 and VT900 are perfect for both benchtop testing as well as on-the-go testing in the field. To begin, turn on the unit by pressing the power button. The device will show an initial screen during which it is performing a self-test. When it is ready for use, it populates to the default screen, which is the airway channel. Before we dive into what's on this screen, let's talk about where to find or change features on the device, because the first thing you're going to want to do is set your device up for testing. Press the Menus option on the bottom left of the screen. Here is where you set up your device for testing and configure your testing preferences. On the Menus screen, you'll find the Customization of Breath Views option, your test IDs, your saved profiles, device setup, change units of measurement, perform special tests, see saved data, and calibrate the oxygen sensor. Let's start with the setup. This is where you change your gas type, correction mode, and breath detection with trigger input, patient type, and set thresholds. Back in the setup menu, you'll also find your instrument information settings, sound, time and date, and brightness settings. To go back to the menus, either click Back or select Menus again. Let's look at the Units menu. Here you find the parameters of testing and can change units of measurement. So, for example, let's change airway pressure from units of millibar into millimeters mercury. Click OK. To see what we've done, we can press a measurement screen on the left, like Airway Channel, and we will see the change we've created. Let's go back to the menu. Now we can configure the whole device in this way. Units, gas type, correction mode, breath views, or other settings. You can configure to personal preference, or sometimes manufacturer service manuals have measurements in a specific unit, and it's helpful not to have to do manual conversion. When we have the device set up the way we need for our model or type of testing, we can now save it as a profile. From the menu setting, select Profiles. We can look at the changes we've made and our current setup by pressing View Current. Let's go back and save this as a profile. In the future, when we have to use this same setup or test this certain ventilator or other gas flow device, we don't have to redo our test setup. We're going to select which number we want to save it as. Let's say we want this to be the third profile. We highlight the third profile and hit Save. It's best to name the profile right away. To do this, click Edit Profile, then press Save. Your profile is now saved and ready to use for a future test. You can now see the list of all saved profiles. You can create and save up to 20 profiles. To use a different profile than the one you're on, highlight it, then press Load. If you prefer to always test with a certain profile, you can set it so that when you power on the device, it will be automatically set to your profile preference, and you don't have to set up the test device.